German Defense Minister Boris Pistorius previously stated that Germany must be ready for war with Russia by 2029. In this regard, he plans to begin training troops, which requires appropriate funding, as Defense Express writes. The German Navy is currently one of the smallest structures of its army. The FRG fleet has 48 units, 11 frigates, 5 corvettes, 6 submarines, 12 mine countermeasure ships, etc. Moreover, the situation is unlikely to change dramatically before 2029. Berlin has planned to replace two tankers and add five more Braunschweig-class corvettes to the fleet. The situation is similar with regard to aviation. Germany plans to replace equipment first and foremost, rather than expand its numbers. Thus, instead of eight P-3C Orion, there will be eight P-A-8 Poseidon and 22 MK.88A Sea Lynx helicopters should be replaced by 31 NH-90 MRFH Sea Tigers. To strengthen its combat power, the FRG Army needs to modernize virtually all units. At the same time, in this direction, in fact, not everything is positive. For example, if we take the same Braunschweig-class corvettes, the second batch of five corvettes should be delivered to the army from October 2025 until the end of 2026. However, the problem is that the first batch already requires a midlife upgrade, but the Germans decided that instead of upgrading, it would be better to purchase a third batch of five corvettes for which, however, they did not find the money, so the purchase of additional ships was postponed. Analysts note, the submarine fleet also needs to be replenished, but this is not in the immediate plans. Of the six submarines of the type 212A class, four require urgent modernization for which there is also no money. Therefore, Germany has decided to buy six large unmanned underwater systems instead. This should expand the capabilities of anti-submarine warfare and help with reconnaissance. In addition, the Germans have planned to modernize the frigates. They have 11 of them. F-123 Brandenburg will receive a new control and weapon system, new RAM Block 2B and ESSM Block 2 air defense systems, and RBS-15 MK-3 anti-ship missiles instead of Harpoon. F-124 Saxon ships will have a new radar, RAM Block 2B and ESS. M Block 2 air defense systems, but they will receive different anti-ship missiles. Naval Strike Missile Block 1A. In addition, these ships will have new combat helicopters on board. At the same time, F-125 Baden-Württemberg will receive Iris T SLM air defense systems in test mode. The Germans also plan to purchase 1,000 RAM Block 2B missiles for 1 billion euros by 2031 and ESSM Block 2 for 269 million euros. They are currently purchasing RBS 15 MK3 anti ship missiles, new naval strike, missile block 1A, and 48 MK54 light torpedoes for 122 million euros. A Chinese mercenary fighting for the Russian military has claimed that eight North Koreans in Ukraine officers were killed in action, were killed in action during their first day of deployment, according to the Kyiv Post. The mercenary, who goes by the name Dian Yuzan on social media, made the claim during a live broadcast with another Chinese mercenary who was reportedly returned to China after fighting for Russia in Ukraine. The video was shared by ex user Yu Tuzel. Kiev Post has been able to partially establish Dian Yuzan's identity but cannot verify the claims made in the video. Dian Yuzan claimed in the video that he submitted a list of those killed in action which comprised 153 Chinese nationals on the Luhansk front before mentioning the North Koreans in Ukraine. In the video he said that despite the preconception of Pyongyang troops being fierce, Eight officers were killed in just one day upon joining the war, where he then laughed, presumably at the seemingly poor performance of the North Korean troops. We have North Korean soldiers here. God damn it, they were gone just after entering the war. And people say they are fierce. Just entered and gone just one day. Eight people. They were even officers, Dian Yuzan said. 
he did not specify the date and location of the alleged incident. When asked by the other mercenary if he and his units had issues with deserters, Dian Yuzan said they were shot on sight. Earlier in the video, the other mercenary could be heard discussing his experience in Ukraine. At 0.19, he criticized the poor command of the Russian military and said, Commander's failure is a norm across the different units. He then went on to criticize Russia's lack of compensation for those killed in action. He said in some cases, those who were missing, corpses littered everywhere, bombed to unidentifiable state, were not compensated. As he said, Russia claimed they could not identify the bodies. Recall back in 2022, Russia has made attempts to involve foreign forces in the fighting in Ukraine. When the Russian command began to realize that the war would not be a quick one, but rather the opposite. The high level of casualties even then created a relative problem in terms of the proportion of forces and means needed for defense and offensive. Today, more than 550,000 Russian troops are involved in Ukraine, which is three times more than in 2022 at the beginning of the full-scale invasion. However, during this period, the advance of the Russian military in the offensive slowed down 80 times and losses increased almost 10 times.